The Global Carbon Project (GCP) is an organization that seeks to quantify global greenhouse gas emissions and their causes. Established in 2001, its projects include global budgets for three dominant greenhouse gases: carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide and complementary efforts in urban, regional, cumulative, and negative emissions. The main object of the group has been to fully understand the carbon cycle. The project has brought together emissions experts, earth scientists, and economists to tackle the problem of rising concentrations of greenhouse gases. The Global Carbon Project collaborates with many groups to gather, analyze, and publish data on greenhouse gas emissions in an open and transparent fashion, making datasets available on its website and through its publications. It was founded as a partnership among the International Geosphere Biosphere Program, the World Climate Program, the International Human Dimensions Program, and Diversitas, under the umbrella of the Earth System Science Partnership. Many core projects in this partnership subsequently became part of Future Earth in 2014. The Global Carbon Project is currently chaired by Rob Jackson of Stanford University. Previous co chairs include Naki Nakisnovic of the International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis, IIASA, Corinne Le Query of the University of East Anglia, and Philippe Ciais of the Institute Pierre Simon Laplace. LSCE. Its executive director is Josep Canadel of Australia's Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organisation The GCP has additional international offices in Tsukuba, Japan, and Seoul, Korea, and an international scientific steering committee consisting of a dozen scientists from five continents. For the most recent global carbon budget released in December 2018, the GCP projects fossil CO2 emissions in 2018 to rise by 2.7% range 1.8% to 3.7% to a record 37.1 billion tons GT CO2, as policy and market forces are currently insufficient to overcome growth in fossil energy use. Atmospheric CO2 concentration is set to increase by 2.3 ppm, range 2.0 to 2.6 ppm, to reach 407 ppm on average in 2018, 45% above pre-industrial levels. Increases in global use of natural gas and oil are the primary causes of rising atmospheric CO2 concentrations today. Global coal use will likely increase in 2018 but still remain below its historical peak in 2013. Over the past decade, coal has been displaced by natural gas-fired, wind, and solar power in some countries. For examples of earlier communications from GCP, in late 2006 researchers from the project determined that carbon dioxide emissions had dramatically increased to a rate of 3.2% annually from 2000. At the time, the chair of the group Dr. Mike Raupark stated that, "...this is a very worrying sign." It indicates that recent efforts to reduce emissions have had virtually no impact on emissions growth and that effective caps are urgently needed. A 2010 study conducted by the project published in Nature Geoscience revealed that the world's oceans absorb 2.3 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide. On December 5, 2011 analysis released from the project claimed carbon dioxide from fossil fuel burning jumped by the largest amount on record in 2010 to 5.9% from a growth rate in the 1990s closer to 1% annually. The combustion of coal represented more than half of the growth in emissions, the report found. 
They predict greenhouse gas emissions to occur according to the IPCC's worst-case scenario, as CO2 concentration in the atmosphere reaches 500 ppm in the 21st century. Topic: <laughs> Global carbon budget. Established by the GCP in 2005 the Global Carbon Budget is an annual publication of carbon cycle sources and sinks on a global level. In 2013 the annual publication of the Global Carbon Budget became a living data publication at the Earth System Science Data Journal. Each year data is revised and updated along with any changes in analysis, results and the most up-to-date interpretation of the behavior of the global carbon cycle. The original measurements and data used to complete the global carbon budget are generated by multiple organizations and research groups around the world. The effort presented by the GCP is mainly one of synthesis, where results from individual groups are collated, analyzed and evaluated for consistency. The GCP facilitate access to original data with the understanding that the primary datasets will be referenced in future work In-depth descriptions of each component are provided by the original publications associated with those datasets. Topic: Global Carbon Atlas. Established by the GCP in 2013, the Global Carbon Atlas is a tool for visualizing data related to the global carbon cycle. The Global Carbon Atlas is a platform to explore and visualize the most up-to-date data on carbon fluxes resulting from human activities and natural processes. Human impacts on the carbon cycle are the most important cause of climate change. This web-based application allows the dissemination of the most up-to-date information on the global carbon cycle to a wider audience, from school children and lay people to policy makers and scientists. It consists of three components, one outreach, two emissions and three research. The outreach component is aimed at the general public and those working in education. The emissions component is a visualization tool for parts of the global carbon cycle that are related to emissions and is aimed primarily at policy makers. The research component is aimed primarily at researchers and acts as a data repository and visualization tool for scientific data used to investigate the global carbon budget. All components of the Global Carbon Atlas are updated on an annual basis, most recently in December 2018, based on the data published in the Global Carbon Budget. See also AIMES analysis, integration and modeling of the Earth system List of countries by carbon dioxide emissions